All righty, guys. It is Monday, the 18th of April. Going to be tackling Staurolite. Staurolite. Stour Sounds like a rock. Not going to continue to hobble my way through pronouncing it. We're just going to continue. Oh, I've dropped things. While I'm loading, I'm just sitting here dropping things. It's unfortunate that the mod for last for yesterday's or for sun Saturday gosh, I know I know days. Saturday's video didn't load. I've been having a lot of problems with mods for tracks loading. And I'm not sure why. What if you just what if it's just jump? It's not just jump. <laughs> I what continue to hold. Oh, I, I have this. I have the plugin for. Uh. And, uh. Let's see. Where is it? You just toggle that script. For the Trackmania Turbo. Remember you. The Trackmania Turbo, it had like a voice announcer that did stuff. I think it was cool, but it can probably be annoying in these videos, and I'm going to leave it off for the videos, but... Okay, this is a very interesting intro. Okay. Let's just get a run in, and then we'll figure out how to do this ridiculous start later. Oh, that's close. Okay, this is gonna be very, very smooth whenever I get it. But for now, it's gonna be laden with terrible gears, nearly missed jumps, and absolutely terrible management of my ability to play this game. Okay. And that's the finish. There it is. Okay. No risky finish. Just a simple, just a simple finish. It's just the track is something else. We're gonna have to be on the inside there. Tight, and then careful with that. Nice. Okay, nice. I made the jump. Oh, and then I crashed. Okay, we'll continue. Because even though I crashed, it's still an improvement. Around the corner, which I'm definitely going into the wall there. Can I make this jump? Yes, I can. I can't make that jump, apparently. <laughs> okay. That's fine, that's fine. It's definitely going to be... Yeah, I feel like it's going to flow really nicely once we actually get it. Okay, I need to hold left there. I need to hold left there at least for the entrance, and then I should be good to just go into half once I get it. Okay, I need to be sooner on than that turn.
Don't crash. You did it. I feel like I could have kept that gear if I maybe was on the outside of those turns a little bit more. Okay. Can you run this? Okay. That was a smooth run. It was maybe a bit wobbly, but it was good. Let's see what we can do to prove that. Because I think there's still definitely more to be made up. Okay, I want to actually, I think, enter that from more to the right. Right here. So I can actually get on this track piece earlier than I touched. Gotta be careful with that. Nice. Keep a lot of speed. I don't necessarily want to be very far on the outside of that uphill because the turn afterward, the turn immediately after it is, is pretty, uh, benefits from me being a little bit wider. I keep, every time, every time I do this turn, oh, you know what it is? It's the light. It's the, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wooden support section with these lights on it, and I think that what I see whenever I go off this corner is the shadow. I think that's the end of the the wooden piece, and I think that this is some decorative support element. This this light, and so I think I'm gonna run into it or clip it in some manner. But I'm not going to. It's part of the wood beam or the wood support. Now that I know that, I don't have to worry. Went straight into the wall. Okay. I feel like if I get this start, I'll be good. Right, so I can get on this track piece. I kept the gear this time. Super good because I can keep the gear in other places if I haven't been able to. No, I hit. It's fine. I still improved by a lot, but now I know that I just messed up in the end and can easily improve that by at least 0.4 just from not hitting in the end. I'm surprised that clip didn't slow me down. Oh, dang it, I, I got a bit of air. I tried to do a low jump on that, uh, on that jump up. I've been just kind of sending it. 
just to get the track into my brain, but now I'm trying to go for speed, and so then the low jump needs to happen. jump. I lost the gear, but I got it again here, so it's not too bad. Then I can keep it. I can't keep it, but I can still at least manage it. Nice. I don't touch the wall here, and we're good. There's point six. <laughs> very good, very good. Super nice. Now where else am I gonna get improvement? Um I lost a lot of gears. If I can uh not do that, then um Well, I'm gonna do better than uh, if I did lose those gears. Ooh, I tried to turn right to, like, just clip that. Didn't work. There we go. This is not great. A lot of these sections I'm doing just slower. Keep the gear here, and I should be at least gaining some speed. Keep the gear here. Just get a little bit more speed in a bunch of different places, and then I crash into the wall, so it doesn't matter. Fear for my gear going over that crest. Keep the gear. Just take a little bit wider of an angle and keep the gear. Okay, interesting. I'm equal on speed. Almost crashed into the wall. I almost crashed into the wall again. Cool. There's point two. All right, we're getting there. We're we're we're, we're getting that improvement. Where are we at? Thirteen minutes. Okay. This this track I got a bit sooner than the norm. But I feel like this track definitely is one of my stronger styles. So I would kind of expect it to be in the ballpark of something I'm good at. Oh, don't clip. Don't clip like that. I've entered the scenery making phase of my most recent track. Though it's slow going, it's a uh, progress. The interesting thing is, is this track I'm doing scenery for is, um, is not the initial track route that I was like, usually I don't have, it's, I, I it has happened. But I don't generally, I generally make a track route after the, like, I make a track, upload the video, put it on Track Media Exchange, do all that stuff. And then I'm like, the next time I work on another track, usually that route or whatever I end up planning to make there turns out to be the next track that I make. It doesn't, it is usually not a track, like, there's not really usually a scrapped idea because 
I build tracks so slowly that the idea that a track ends up becoming usually just ends up working. Um, but not this time. This time I, there was a track that was being made that I ended up just not vibing with. Maybe I'll come back to it. The route is basically done. I just didn't feel sold on it. And so I, the new blocks came out, and I was like, oh, I'm going to try and make a route with the new blocks. I mean, I ended up not using very many of the new blocks. I did use new blocks, but I didn't use too many of the new blocks. But I did enjoy what I made, and I really like the route, so that's what I'm... That's what I'm using. It features wet grass. It features a section of wet grass, which is an interesting concept. It features a very small section of wet grass. I may, I don't know, the route is pretty set right now to the point where I'm doing scenery on the route. So I don't know if it's gonna change. I would like to do more wet grass, make wet grass more fun and interesting, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that on this track. I think you could possibly have some really s smooth and interesting feeling tracks with wet grass. You have to, unfortunately with wet grass, your tires do eventually dry up and you have to re-wet the tires, so I'd have to manage that. Along with the situation of respawning. Um, those are all very those are, those are challenges that I understand going into a making a wet grass track like that. Um, I don't think the challenge is that difficult, at least in that part. I think the route setting is going to be the hardest part because I do feel like you could do some sick stuff with wet grass. It's very slippery. But I feel like you could do some... It's like bobsleigh on ice. Like when you hit the the perfect bobsleigh on ice it feels really rewarding. I feel like that a lot of the same principles of that apply to wet grass. I just have to experiment with it. So I'm going to have to work out what I want in a wet grass line and how I want to keep reprocking the wetness. I feel like it could be a very fun track in the right hands. And with the right route. I feel like I can make the right route for it. Just go straight into a wall real quick. Oh, crashed. trying to very smooth. I'm trying to like, as soon as I land in that dirt section right at the start, like whenever I actually first touch dirt, I'm trying to smoothly steer. I'm trying to get myself so that I don't crash, but then very smoothly steer for the rest of it to maintain speed. behind but I have more speed mm, I lost a bit of speed there I lost a bit of speed there I have the speed I have the speed different splits mm, it more as confirmation and they also help in like I missed the checkpoint uh, <laughs> they, they do help in um, Stuff like full speed. And they may help you, the viewer, kind of see what I'm seeing. Because a lot of Trackmania, especially as someone who's maybe never played Trackmania before or is newer to the game, the game looks a lot easier than it is. Um, I 
and so doing whatever I can to allow the nuance be under be understood is great. Lost the gear. I think the speed overlay uh, can assist in helping someone be able to tell my general feeling of like, oh, I'm not going as fast. Because I don't know if it's as obvious to someone who's viewing. Maybe it's more obvious. Maybe I'm saying something that's just really obvious. Maybe the, maybe the concept of how fast I am relative to my ghost is extremely obvious to those watching. I'm trying to get the low jump, man. I'm a little behind. Very close. Oh my god, it's close. <laughs> that was ridiculously close, actually. Oh my goodness. One hundredth. Very, very close. Oh, gosh dang it, I need to stop running into it. Kind of wondering what, like, uh, how in that very beginning there's like a, a sausage straight block onto that that wooden curved piece that we jump onto. But I wonder if, like, I wonder how a um, a block without the Red walls would be because you can. There are there are custom blocks where the sausage block doesn't have any side walls. I'm wondering how that would feel. I don't know if it would change the overall feel of the map. Might be a different aesthetic and also a different feel of the track. Little, little slow. I clipped. Darn it, I want to get so, I was so close. It's not like having a wall there is that bad. It's pretty easy to avoid. I just feel like, hmm. Could the transition have been smoother if there was no wall on that sausage and you could hit that corner like perfectly? Survey says, who knows, I didn't make this track. Survey says, shut up Canada, just make your own tracks. Stop judging other people's. I'm not actually judging. I am contemplating the possibility for a future project. I'm taking in the map for it as a player of the of the track and as a mapper who would potentially do a similar block configuration in a map. Like what if I had a turnaround like this? I mean to be fair, having a turnaround like that would only ever happen in the start. It would basically mimic the start of this track. It'd be really hard to get 
a player in the same position where this turn is very consistent like this if they're partially through a track. You'd have to slow them down a lot. It's a constant thing I deal with. I, re I really like higher speed tracks. You have to be able to slow the, dr the player down because otherwise it just... The track gets really big. You don't want that. It's a lot harder with tarmac tracks because you have full grip and you can accelerate really hot, fast. I like to use grass or dirt in those scenarios. I like like a, a turn. Make a turn out of grass or normal track or grass or dirt. Or use penalty grass or dirt as a method for slowing down the the player. Or, or just I think turns. I mean turns are gonna slow down the driver. Um I think turns on a non tarmac surface are the easiest way to slow down other than like actually just having the driver drive across a bunch of penalty grass that's the easiest way to slow down the driver without having them break without like incent like indicating that they need to press the brake button next after that using turns made out of non tarmac surfaces if your intent is that you don't want them to break you still want them to slow down. You're probably gonna n have to make a track that has multiple surfaces. Ah, oh, I touched the wall. I wanted to like milk. I wanted to milk that turn for all it had. When I did it too, I did it too much. Oh, I clipped. Darn, darn. Oop, okay. Well, it is looking like it's gonna... Well, it's not necessarily the end yet. It's close. Do a few more runs and then we'll call it. Ooh, I got air. That's not good. Ooh, I crashed again. What am I doing? Uh, apparently crashing. Should just watch the watch the GPS for the last bit. Fifty-three, fifty-nine. Wow. A whole second faster. Very interesting. I didn't like I'd expect. I'm actually kind of following the same line. It was sooner in than I than I would have expected. Okay. All right. Well, I will see you all tomorrow. Where we'll attack whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. Until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you all later.